Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Bakar Kadash. The honors to the elders, apostles, a great millstone, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. Shalom to the Akim, scattered the four corners of the globe, uh, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And I say, uh, Shalom to y'all out there. And this is uh, another quick sit down lesson uh, on this May the 3rd, 2022, uh, 5.43 p.m. Central Standard Time on this uh, Tuesday afternoon. And how, uh, and the title of this uh, quick sit down lesson is going to be for today is wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. And. Uh, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 33, verse 6, through the Holy Scriptures, and it reads, in verse 6 in the book of Isaiah, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and the strength of salvation, and the fear of the Lord is his treasure. Right, because, you know, especially in the times that we are coming into and we are currently living in as, as of right now, you know, you're going to need that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and it's the stability of the times that we are, you know, currently living in, you know. And I'm going to look up the uh, definition of uh, stability. Uh, stability, which is a noun, the state of being stable. There are fears for the political stability of the area similar to firmness solidity and steadiness right because you're having that uh you know stable mind you know the stability of that mind you know because we're in the times that we are heading into and it's best to have that wisdom knowledge you know and not the uh wisdom of this world, you know, because like the book of uh, Isaiah 29th chapter, I believe, surely your things turned upside down, you know, so that's why it's, it's good to have the wisdom and knowledge through the Holy Scriptures and have that st stability of a stable mind in the times that we are living into, because you have evil spirits uh, attacking you. You know, trying to get the best of you and everything like that. You know, and you can be able to maneuver those things. That's why these holy scriptures is of comfort to us. You know, especially us men of the Lord that's being in this truth. Because, you know, in the times ahead that we are coming into and getting ourselves fully prepared for these things. You know, with these comforts of these holy scriptures. And we'll know that when that time approaches, Lord willing. We're going to make it through those times and to be able to see those times because we're, you know, we're currently living in those times that's approaching, you know, very soon, you know, because we are in the process and the stages of those times that we are living in with the potential upcoming of the famine, you know, the pestilence and the, uh, you know, the food shortages as we see right now with the, uh, the hyperinflation, the cost of living, you know, and many other things that's a part of this uh, economic system. Because, you know, it's going to be into that time. It's going to be everything is going to be full digital. That's when it's, that MOTB come into full effect, which is in the book of Revelations through 16 through verse 18, you know, uh, taking that karagma, you know, so don't take that karagma, you know. Cause it's gonna be that time, that hour of temptation, to be able to sustain yourself, to maintain and be in society, you know. Um, to be able to go to the grocery store, or you know, on your day-to-day -day life to go to work or go to school or anything like that. For an example, you know, you gotta take that uh stuff that's implanted in your body, you know. That's that uh. That's that uh, karakma, you know. 
So, you know, those are uh, important examples of the times that we are coming into. That's why it's, it's best to have that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Holy Scriptures from the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. You know, because these are the scriptures that are written, you know. So it's good to have that uh, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you know, that 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 balance, right, frame of uh, stability of the mind in the times that we are living into, you know. Because like I said, evil spirits can approach you or evil uh, spirits or evil demons on peoples and stuff like that. To, you know, that, that'll brush off you. They'll brush those evil spirits and and negative thoughts on you and everything like that. So that's why it's, it's good to have that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding and a balanced right frame of mind because everything is a balance. Because the Heavenly Father, He's a just balance because everything is a balance, uh, you know, in the world that we live in here, you know, even though this is an upside down, crazy society. But uh, having that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in the stability of that times that we are currently into and that, that we are fully going to be in, entering into as well too because it's going to get real crazy and hectic out here because what we're seeing crazy night because the things we're seeing are crazy things that we're currently seeing right now and it, it's going to it's going to increase double like the scripture says I roughly paraphrase uh because the love of many shall wax cold, you know, and because of uh, iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold, you know, the time of uh, Jacob's trouble, the uh, love of many shall wax cold, uh, people sh uh, is going to be uh, enemies of their own household, you know, these are uh, reference of uh, scriptures, of uh, the times of head that we're coming into, even though we're those categories that are laying, which is already here, but it's going to further more increase, you know, in the last days. That's why it's important to have this uh, wisdom, knowledge, and understandings of these holy scriptures and the times that, uh, that we are coming into. Because the times that we are going to uh, be entering into is going to be like a, a great tribulation that like we've never seen before, which that's in the book of Matthews twenty. Four verse 21 I believe and so that's why it's important very important to have that uh, wisdom knowledge and understanding that right from a man uh, the, st uh, the stability of the mind of the times that we're heading into you know that, that positive uh, balance right frame of mind you know because you don't want to have you no know, uh, negative thoughts all the time, you know, because everything is a balance in life, you know. So that's why it's very important through these holy scriptures and to continue to learn through these holy scriptures in the times ahead that we are living in because wisdom and knowledge is going to be very important in the times that we are living into, you know. So you can be able to uh, maintain, maintain and solidify yourself to be stable in the mind in the times that we are living in. You know, because cause you know the mind is powerful, you know. Because if you lose, because if you ain't got your right frame of mind in the uh, crazy, dangerous times that we are going to enter into, you know, it's a wrap, you know. So that's why it's important to have that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in the uh, modern day, current times that we are living into. Because the times that we are entering is going to get. Hectic, hectic and crazy out here, you know. In the scrim for salvation, right? Because, you know, the men of the Lord were fighting for salvation, you know. To have that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding and continue to endure, you know. Uh, to continue to endure these uh, obstacles, you know, that comes our way, you know. So we can be able to maneuver and be victory. You know, be victory at the end. Like the scripture says, I roughly paraphrase, uh, he that endure to the end, the same shall be saved. And the ones that's the men of the Lord of great millstone, you know, the Israelites, Yahshua, he is the prince of the power, the children of Israel, the children of the Most High, which is the real children of Israel, is the so-called 
<clears throat> Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the speckled bird is a lot as well, too. You know, that's why it's important for this uh, scripture, Isaiah 33 and 6, that I just read, you know. And continuing on with the reading, uh, the fear of the Lord is his treasure, right? The fear of the Lord is his treasure. You know, keeping these uh, law, statutes, commandments to the best of our ability. Continue to learn these uh, scriptures. Continue to learn the precepts. Continue to learn from our elders, apostles of Great Millstone. Continue to learn from our elders and the deacons and the bishops and the Akim and the Brotherhood and the Speckleberg Brethren as well, too. Look at their videos. Continue to be edified. And that's why I continue to uh, hunger for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these holy scriptures and from the Akim and the Brotherhood and the elders and the deacons and the bishops and the elders, apostles, great millstone. Because, you know, we're going to need that uh, wisdom, knowledge, and the stability of thy times, that right frame of mind, that stable mind, so we can be uh, fully occupied and fully stable in the times that we are heading into. Because it's going to get real critical and real crazy out here in the times that we are uh, currently going to be living into, you know. Uh, this is the book of... Uh, This is a uh, first Timothy. This is another precept to uh, Isaiah thirty-three and six. Uh, this is the book of First Timothy, chapter four, verse eight, through the Holy Scriptures, and it reads: For bodily exercise, ex it says, for a body exercise profit little, but goodness is profitable unto all things, having promise of the life that is now and that of uh, which is to come. Right, because, you know, we're not supposed to uh, love our life in this world. You know, we're supposed to hate our life and to live eternal, eternally, you know. Because you look at the things of the society, it's upside down, you know. You know, he that hated this life, hated his life, should have life eternally. And he that loved his life should lose it, you know. We're not supposed to love our life in this society. We're supposed to hate our life in this society. And we should live internally, you know. And for the for what the promises is coming for the children of Israel, which is to come, you know. And this is the book of Psalms, chapter... 112 verse 1 through verse 3 and it reads uh, verse 112 in the book of Psalms pray ye the Lord blessed is the man that fears the Lord that diligently greatly in his commandments and he shall and his seed shall be mighty upon the earth the generations of the upright shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness endure forever. Right, you know, bless it, bless it, praise ye the Lord. You know, that's why we constantly and consistently praise the Lord, you know. And blesses the man that fears the Lord, right? Blesses the man that fears the Lord. That's the Israelite man, especially one that's in his truth, which is the so called Negro, Latino, and Native American, and a speckled bird is a white man scattered through four corners of the globe. And continually, that digitally, digital, diligent, greatly in his commandments, right? Keeping the law, that's the commandments to the best of our ability, you know. And our, and our seed of the 12 tribes of Israel, you know, shall be muddy upon the earth, you know, with righteousness, you know. Because the this generation that we are uh, entering right now, it's not full of uprightness, you know, because our people are doing evilness and wickedness and stuff like that. If we can hearken back to the voice unto the Lord thy God and to observe and do all his commandments, even though we can, you know, even though we can't keep like uh, 613, you know, try to keep the law, statute commandments to the best of our ability, you know. And pass it on down the generations to our kids and teach him these things, you know. Like scripture says, I'm roughly paraphrase, train up a child. You know, train up a child as 
as he go, and he should not depart from it, you know, teaching him the law, statutes, commandments, acknowledge and tell him that he or, he, he or she, that she's a, a, he or she is an Israelite, you know, and like that for many examples, you know, right, wealth and riches to be to the house and righteousness and endure forever, right? Keep the law, statutes, commandments, the best of our ability. You know, continue to praise the Lord with our heart and soul, uh, much as we can to the best of our ability. You know, <coughs> uh, this is the book of Matthew, chapter six, verse thirty-three, and it reads through the Holy Scriptures. And verse thirty-three in the book of Matthew, but seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh thy power and His righteousness, right? Seek the kingdom, right? We seek for especially us men, uh, men of the Lord that's in this truth, uh, the men of great millstone, starting off with the elders, apostles of great millstone that been in this truth for uh, 30 plus years and still going strong. The Wadi washing outside for setting up good men like them, thanks to the most half for that, and we continue to learn from them as well, too. And from our elders, elders, uh, deacons, and bishops, and the Akim and the Brotherhood on down in that order, you know. That's why we all uh, seeking for the kingdom. You know, we're looking for that uh, new Jerusalem. You know, uh, new Jerusalem be established here on planet Earth. You know, that's what we're seeking. You know, we're seeking to get up out of this uh, wicked kingdom, you know. And we're trying to... Uh, seek the kingdom that's why we're seeking for salvation you know that's why uh you know that's why uh wisdom knowledge and understanding should be the stability of thy time you know keeping the law statutes and commandments to the best of our ability you know continue to uh, do the work and the will of the heavenly father and seek the kingdom and seek righteousness you know, not seek uh, wickedness. You know, that's the opposite from righteousness. You know, we're looking for the uh, things on the right hand side, which is rightness, uh, righteousness. You know, not things on the left hand side. You know, the men of the Lord is uh, seeking for the kingdom. We're seeking for salvation. You know, we're seeking for a new righteous and holy kingdom to be uh, established on the planet Earth. When the Heavenly Father get uh, the kingdom to be established, you know, we're going to join heirs with the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, you know, and rule and join heirs for Him, you know. Right, and this is uh, one more scripture that I'm bring out, and I'm gonna close this uh, sit down lesson for today. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 27, verse 1 to verse 2, through the Holy Scriptures, and it reads in verse 27 The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my salvation. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked even my enemies and my foes came upon me to eat up my flesh and they stumbled and fell right because you know the Lord is our light you know the Bashim Al Shah is our light and in our salvation you know whom should we be afraid of whom shall we be afraid of uh, evil spirits or evil people that entice these uh, evil and things like that whom we should be afraid of a, a, a person that with their body language, you know, or talking about us or anything like that. Whom should we be afraid of these things, you know? As long as we have the Heavenly Father on our side, Him, His only begotten Son, you know, He is our, our rock and our light and our salvation, you know. Whom should we fear of these things, you know? Or even the, the wicked on a uh, spiritual sense a physical sense as well too you know shall eat up our flesh you know you know right so with that I hope
This uh, quick sit down lesson was edifying through the spirit, spirit power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh Yahushua. And uh, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushua, Bahashim Makakadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone, pushing this word truthfully and sincerely. And shout out to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, pushing this word truthfully and sincerely. And uh, shout out And uh, and I like to say, uh, shout out and the Bob Bob.